Alright, here we are in Open RCT2. Welcome back to another exciting Roller Coaster Tycoon stream, everybody. We've done two of these before. We have gone through uh, Forest Frontiers and Dynamite Dunes. We're now on the third scenario of the beginner parks in the original RCT. Leafy Lake. Starting from scratch, build a theme park around a large lake. We gotta have at least 500 guests in the park by the end of year free of October with a park rating of at least 600. Alright, let's see what the lake is like. So here we are, a leafy lake. Got a decent amount of land, and a, indeed a very large lake. So first up, we got a, we got a theme for the park. We're going with... <laughs> We're making the Lake District. We're making a Beatrix Potter themed park. I have decided. Here, we can open up the park, but there's not a whole lot to see here. <laughs> All right. Well, if I leave these, if I leave the path intact, then they're gonna start wandering around and being like, "I'm lost." All right, we gotta get some rides down. We got a miniature railroad, Ferris wheel, merry-go-round, car ride, wooden coaster, junior coaster, scrambled eggs, a boat hire. Okay, at least we got a food, a drink, and a restroom. Ah, yes. Better start with the funding. I want to... Oh, cool! It already defaults to maximum funding. Well, that's just fantastic. I don't want transport rides for the time being. Let's let's research some other stuff first. Alright, well, starting with a merry-go-round is, I think, generally a pretty good idea. Get that, get that music in early on. Um... Yeah, like right around here. That should be good. So if we're doing like a Beatrix Potter or Peter Rabbit themed park, this can be the, uh, the six little rabbit go round. Just to start things out. Hey, yeah, people could pay a dollar for that. That's fine. <laughs> this guy's waving to nobody on the carousel right now. Okay, let's up it to... F gotta enter the park for five dollars. Like, y you got to. This is non-negotiable. We also need to make sure we put in some restrooms, because apparently guests are uh, big on that. We also need to make sure we research that uh, information kiosk sooner rather than later. All restrooms will be free, because I'm not that much of an extortionist. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If, if you're using the bathroom in Mr. McGregor's shed, it's no wonder he hates rabbits. Get a drink stall. We don't want our guests going thirsty. Uh, what do they drink in, uh... Oh, yeah! That's right, in, in uh, the Tailor of Gloucester. The rats get drunk on the wine. Oh, that's perfect. And a fruity ices stall. Oh, I thought this was like an ice cream stall, not a sorbet stall. That's fine. We can open up, up that as well. Wow, these are cheaper than the drinks. Nah, they're still a dollar. Hmm. <laughs> no, that's desert. <laughs> Blackberry dessert. Thank you, Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail. We appreciate it. All right, nobody's gonna be getting be getting sick off of a merry-go-round, so we don't need a handyman just yet. Although we do need trash cans. If we don't have trash cans, guess they're throwing their ice cream wrappers on the floor. All right, well, not that the merry-go-round isn't great, but uh, we need something a little bit more. Uh, we should probably put in a roller coaster relatively early on. We could do... Yeah, junior roller coaster. Whoa! That's a cra- Oh my gosh, that's a crazy Mosby- Mosby- Mobius coaster. <laughs> Mosbius. Mosbius design system. Yeah, I don't think I'm making any of these pre-made designs. We need something relatively inexpensive. Which is why, of course, we're gonna build it on the lake. Which is even more expensive- It's even more expensive to build on the lake. Actually, no. A Mobius coaster, it's a single coaster that has two stations, and each station is, like, a different part of the track. 
It's basically like dueling coasters, but each of the coasters is part of the same coaster. It goes in one station, does does the ride, comes into the other station, then that does... It's like a mirrored version of the ride, and then comes in the other station. If that makes sense. Too high for supports? We're only 30 feet in the air! That's another annoying aspect of the lake. Alright, there we go. It's a decent start to the coaster. <laughs> They're all waving. Oh, we got the fries shop. Wonderful. This is not a very long coaster, but also we're a little strapped for cash right now, so I just wanted a nice, gentle coaster. My park entrance fee is too high. It's five dollars! <laughs> what do you want from me? Fine. One dollar to enter the park. That's probably not going to be a very exciting coaster. Medium, medium, and medium. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to open it because it's at least a... It's a coaster and people will like it, but... Yeah, that's not super exciting. There we go. Open up the coaster, and we can actually charge... I've heard you can charge quite a bit for coasters. Like, let's try $4, see if people like that. Oh my gosh, why is there nobody in the park? They're like, one merry-go-round? That sucks. <laughs> so I added custom music just for this occasion. So this can be the tale... The tale of, uh... The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Maybe I'll make Mr. McGregor's garden over there. Oh, once I get the hedge maze, I can absolutely make Mr. McGregor's garden over here. What are guys thinking? Are they like, I'm not, pay I'm not paying that much to go on the Tale of Peter Rabbit. Okay, how about three dollars? But I mean, come on, you're basically getting into the park for free. Okay, that spot, this spot here is going to be reserved for when we actually get the hedge maze. Let's hire the handyman. Here we go. Here's Nintendo Addict. <laughs> He's gonna be my default handyman in every town, in every park I make. Mechanic. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Feel fix it, Felix Jr. He he'll do a great job. I'm I'm sure of it. Are they still not paying enough to go on this? It's a roller coaster. Do I name all my handyman after recurring people in Twitch chat? No, but I name one Nintendo Addict because he's a garbage man in real life. Once I get a bit more of a part going, I will start naming guests as they come in. But right now, I think the guests are going to basically go in, go on one ride, and then leave. A boat? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing a boat hire yet. <laughs> no siree. I will, however, make a scrambled eggs. Obviously, there's only one thing to name a t twist ride in for our Beatrix Potterfiend Park, and that is <laughs> no more <laughs> twist. <laughs> From Taylor of Gloucester, by the way. No more twist. He was trying to get his, the last bit of cherry-colored twisted silk, and his cat hid it from him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I enjoy this too much, probably. Uh, in, in England, everything's a castle, right? Of course it is. Yeah, you could. Oh, we got the hedge maze. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Our guess just gonna be massive cheapskates in this park. It's quite possible. Oh no, it's gonna rain, and I don't have an information kiosk. So no, they're not. They're just not gonna ride anything right now. That's okay. We got the hedge maze. That's what I was looking for. All right, the hedge maze is kind of fun to build. So we gotta choose a place to start from, so they can enter from way. Here we go. There we go. Enter the maze from here, and you exit it there. It's a nice, it's a small garden. I hope that's how you spell McGregor. I think there was multiple different spellings. Yeah, one dollar is fine. It's a small maze. You don't want to make the maze too big. If you make the maze too big, then the guests will get lost in it. Max people in the maze? Uh, I mean, sure. I don't think they'll have a problem if I put in 16 people. There we go. Have a, have a blast in Mr. McGregor's garden, everybody. Just don't let him catch you. <laughs> and I should put some plants around here for scenery purposes. Oh, wow, now people are going on the tail of Peter Rabbit. 
I saw that money flying. Yeah, they're saying it's great. Why wouldn't you love it? It's still medium, medium, and medium, though, even with the scenery. What do people think about No More Twist? I'm not paying that much to go on No More Twist. People are so cheap in this game. Okay, hang on. How much money do people come in with? 60 bucks? You're loaded. Why are you so tired? You probably shouldn't be going to the theme park if you're tired. What's down the way? Oh boy, we're getting swans. I just love that. There, it's now 70 cents to go on the six little rabbit go round. You got no excuse. Well, I mean, I guess you do have an excuse, but it's not a very good one. So basically, my only ride that people think is worthwhile is the roller coaster. Yeah, that's that's accurate. Car ride is boring, too. Guess I can make a wooden coaster, but those are expensive. I'm gonna have to take out another loan if I do that. Okay, surely I can charge $5 for the park entrance now. Oh, I suppose an another thing I could do is I could start advertising for the park. Advertising is kind of busted in this game. Um. Yeah, let's do it. It's a good amount of money, but it's going to make a huge amount of guests go in. Oh boy, we got the swans. You know that, that, oh, that's actually great. This is where we might end up cheating a little bit. But it's not a cheat that's going to give me any kind of an advantage in the game. It's literally just going to look cool. Because what you can do for the boat hire, you can literally just have the station and let them row anywhere. But if you do that, they will get lost. And it's terrible. So instead, what I'm going to do... I'm going to make a simple track. There we go. So now they'll just row along this little canal here. Alright. Obviously, we're going to have swans, because it's way more Beatrix Potter themed. Let's see. A dollar for the boat hire, whatever. This can be... The ta the take. The tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. A classic story. Oh, perfect. It's already the right color, too. <laughs> Jemima Puddle Duck was a duck, not a swan. <laughs> and I've, I've, something that I've learned is that queue lines are not always necessarily a good... Like, long queue lines are actually not usually a good thing. There we go. Connect that over here. We have this wonderful thing called the no entrance sign. We'll make it made of wood. No entry. So now people aren't going to be like, Oh, I want to go over there. And here we go. Tale of Jemima Puddle Lucky is open. Now. If I go to options. Where can I enable cheats? Or am I not allowed to enable cheats during scenario play? Is that the cheats menu? Show cheat options. Cool. So I'm not going to do anything to break things. I just want... So one thing I want to do, give all guests, no, no, none of that. Create ducks. <laughs> That's, where has that cheat been all my life? Oh, hey, people are actually really liking the Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. Great. So if I delete the, again, I think if I delete this, it's going to cause this to crash, and I don't want that. I just want to, I want to make it invisible, basically. Oh, there we go! That's exactly what we do. We're going to make the entire boat higher. We're going to remove the track so it'll look like they're doing a free swim. But in actuality... They're still moving along the track. Again, this does not give me any kind of benefit. I'm just doing this for theming purposes. Okay, here we go. Last piece. There! Finally! <laughs> Now it looks like they're just going freely through the water, but they're actually still on a track. Mmm. Alright, what are guests thinking about now while I was doing that? It's too crowded here! I want to go on something more thrilling, I want to go on something more thrilling. This path is disgusting. Looks like Nintendo Addict's not doing his job. Here we go, we have a new person. This will be Mr. McGregor. What have we discovered? Oh, we just got looping roller coaster trains. <gasps> Finally, we're getting the freaking information kiosk. Took long enough. We have the looping roller coaster. Ooh. Okay, we got we got a very busted ride right here. The looping roller coaster is insane. I believe we can turn that into a ride. 
If we do powered launch mode without passing the station, and we do the minimum launch speed... Oh, we should save before we do this. So if we test this out... <laughs> okay, maybe we get the launch speed a little higher than that. But still, medium, medium, and low for, like, the cheapest ride ever. What if we up the launch speed a bit? We don't want to up it too much, because we don't want it to actually go through the loop. Otherwise, it will crash. It'll also go faster when there are guests in it. Thirty-three miles an hour. Let's see what that does. Okay, there we go. That's good. <laughs> this is a bit of a disappointing ride right here, I must admit. Medium, medium, low. You know, 4.40 excitement for, like, a free tile ride is pretty great. Here you go. The roller coaster is open for business. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much. This is the tale of the fierce bad rabbit. The fierce bad rab. Nah, we'll do just tale of the fierce bad rabbit. <laughs> this is... A wow! People want to go on it. <laughs> I did! That is exactly what I did. And the guests love it. And they're paying good money for it. We'll make it look like a carrot. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> then we'll make the car look like the gun that the man shoots. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> look at that! It's already a full QI! <laughs> Okay, I think I think I need to expand outward. I'm I'm cramming a lot of stuff all in one place. We should probably get a second mechanic right now. <laughs> uh, you could be the tailor of Gloucester because he fixes things. Like I said, the looping roller coaster is kind of busted, because you can do incredibly simple designs like this and make a lot of money off of it. Alright, yeah, I need to build outward rather than inward, so... Spread out a little bit. Alright, we definitely need a Ferris wheel. That's a gotta have, even though it's, like, objectively one of the worst rides ever. <laughs> How about Tom Kitten's Ball of Yarn? There we go. It's terrible. Nobody will want to go on it. They're like, we came all this way just for this. Why, yes. Yes, you did. We should probably put in some more bathrooms just to make sure that people actually can relieve themselves. Would I ever consider streaming Zoo Tycoon someday? I would. I would not make it a reoccurring series, but I would do like a one-off stream of it. Although my sister would be very disappointed if I played without her. It's one of her favorite games. Oh, <gasps> whiz, whiz, I found the hoodie, Mrs. Tittlemouse. I wonder how many people here will actually get any of these references. Probably nobody, but that's okay. They amuse me. We need fries so people get thirsty. Mmm, <laughs> radishes, my favorite! <laughs> oh yeah, everything in this park is a Beatrix Potter reference. What are guests thinking about the ball of yarn? I'm not paying- it's a- it's a dollar. 70 cents. There you go. People are like, I'm not paying that much to go on Mr. McGregor. You gotta really be on the price. Like, nobody... Everybody's still like, this is great. I will gladly pay 250 for this one. Okay, I think I might be able to charge more for this. Let's try 250 Oh, also, I could probably charge a lot more for the park now. We can also start naming some of the guests that come in. You got 90 Oh my gosh, you have $90. All right, welcome, Peter Rabbit. You can be Benjamin Bunny. Uh, you can be Jemima Puddle Duck. Here you go, you're Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Johnny Town Mouse. Timothy William. You can be Simpkin. I, my park has been awarded the tidiest park in the country. Oh, hey, Nintendo Attic is doing his job. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, we got the haunted house. 
Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh, Mr. McGregor's house is going to be have to be far away from his garden. Because obviously the haunted house is going to be Mr. McGregor's house. I'm just trying... I'm trying to expand outwards so that way people aren't going to be... It's way too crowded here. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? I'm not paying that much to go in Mr. McGregor's house. Oh, no one's going on No More Twist. For I have no more twist. We're getting another gentle ride. Cool. <laughs> Part of me wants to just spam this ride design. I'm not going to spam it, but I will make another one that's at least a little bit different. This design's going to have a couple of vertical loops. Here we go. We'll do something like that. For this one, we're actually... Oh. Not continuous circuit mode. Nope. Power launch. Let's try like 60 miles. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's save before we do this. I don't want it flying off the track. We actually might need to launch it a little faster than that. Actually, yeah. We're going to need to launch it a little faster than <laughs> Got stuck. All right, now we can remove one of those. Oh, 60 is the cap. Oh, I see. Well, then in that case, we're only going to do a double loop. Just got to make sure it's not going to fly off the... Tr um. Can it really only launch that far? Okay, I got a, I got a, I got a plan, guys. I got a plan. You ready? What is that? Simulate ride attraction. Wait, you can do this? Oh, that's a new feature. That's great. No, I want to do it reverse incline shuttle mode. Um really? <laughs> Alright, this is not going exactly how I wanted it to. Okay, then here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the boosters! <laughs> we get the spiral slide, the best attraction. Okay. If we go back to the power launch mode, not passing the station, if we simulate this, now how's it going to go? There we go. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. No lateral Gs, which makes sense. Medium, medium, and low, but it's got a higher medium than the other one does, so. Jemima Puddle Duck. Oh, is she the first one in line for this? <laughs> if so, that would be great. Let's hope it don't fly off the track. Nah, it's not going to fly off the track. Oh, what? <laughs> Instantly fills up. Actually, mm, I should add more station platforms back here to make the train a bit longer. To increase its throughput. Well, too late now. Looks too intense for you. It's medium intensity. I mean, granted, I would not ride this in real life, but still. Tale of Jeremy Fisher. Here we go. He's the frog that goes fishing. He's kind of like yellow and green. It's an interesting color scheme. But also has some like red on him as well. Yeah, I, pr I should have made the station longer. Oh no! I'm not paying that much to go on the Fierce Bad Rabbit. Will you pay this much to go on the Fierce Bad Rabbit? Why is my park rating decreasing so much? Because everyone is saying it's too crowded here. And they're not paying that much to go in the Fierce Bad Rabbit. And they're not paying that much to go in Mr. McGregor's house. Wasn't it like a dollar? No, it's like 70 cents. Oh yeah, and you can play the other custom music. Which is very quiet. <laughs> very quiet. Now you can hear it a bit better. Alright. If we can make a couple more rides along here... Then that'll be perfect. Are people thinking this is a good value? No. They're not. Okay, all my gentle rides are really suffering. 
Nobody wants to pay to go on them. Oh, there we go. Oh, it looks like Peter Rabbit is too expensive now. Any new frill rides? None? Oh, we got the spiral slide. Never fear. Information kiosk. We need this. Okay. This is very important. We're going to charge $20 for the umbrellas. Nobody is going to pay $20 for an umbrella unless it's raining, in which case they absolutely will. The, the the thing the reason why they're saying they're not paying that much is because as your as your rides are out like as your rides age guests think that they're not as valuable like when you first build them they're like the hip new thing and then guests are willing to pay extra but then like after they become like a few months old in game they cheapen there we go red umbrellas I will put another information kiosk over here. Again, umbrellas are the same price. I'm going to make these blue, though. <laughs> Literally nobody's going to get any of these references. <laughs> oh, look at all these people buying the park maps, though. Yeah, they could get a sunburn, but that's not really my problem. Guests are going up. Park rating's going up. We should put some bathrooms over here. The Mine Train Coaster, that's a bit of a pricey one, but all right. What I, I'd really... Okay, no, you know what? I want frill rides, man. No more roller coasters, no more shops and stalls, no more... Wa no, I'll keep water rides turned on. I want something more frilling, though. That's definitely how you spell laundry. <laughs> Pass the jelly. Oh, oh. I know just what to name you. <laughs> Splendid piece of Stilton. What? <laughs> <laughs> Only the hardcore will even get that reference. <laughs> that one's for you, Marty. I, I can't wait for it to rain. When, when it starts to rain, you're going to see my, my money shoot up big time. Because then everyone's going to be like, Ah, oh, we need an umbrella! $20, I don't care! <laughs> okay, are we getting something good? Oh, yay, we're getting a frill ride. Wonderful. I also could go for a balloon stand before the end of the game. Oh, we're on year two now, so we're a third of the way for the scenario. Which, by the way, we have already gotten the guest cap. We only need 500 guests, so we, we already have basically completed the scenario. We just have to ride it out. But I want to build on the lake a bit more. I also eventually, <laughs> if at all possible, I'd like to... Wait the heck? Not paying that... All of a sudden, I'm like, where are all the ducks? <laughs> Nobody's riding the ducks. Okay, really? Is nobody paying this much? Not paying that much? Isn't it like 40... My rule is, if they don't pay 30 cents for a ride, then I refurbish it. Ah, there we go. I thought the lake was looking a little empty. Say, oh, I got the safest park and the tidiest park. Well, it's hard to crash a duck. <laughs> Gotta admit. You know what I'm gonna do? Gonna do more advertising. <gasps> yes, we got the pirate ship. Okay, I've been waiting for the pirate ship. I already know what I'm gonna call it. So, I can build it back here, where there's not much land, because it's very, very narrow. <laughs> this is <laughs> Badger in my bed. <laughs> Badger. In my house, in my bed. Cool. If I build, like, another ride or two, I'll just connect the ends so that the guests can walk around all the way. Here comes the slew of guests. They don't want to ride it! Are they saying it's too expensive? That was the default price! Oh, yeah, look at look at that money go up as all these guests are walking in. There we go. Apparently, 30, 30 cents oftentimes is kind of the threshold, like 30 to 40 cents. So how's you doing, Jemima? These fries are a really good value. The park map is a really good value. Cool. Well, if you think those are good value, well, uh... Wait till you see the umbrellas. Oh my gosh, people are riding the Ferris wheel! All of a sudden, it's pot all I had to do was charge, like, 40 cents for it. I'll actually charge 40 cents for it. So I don't have to worry about the price for a while. Mine train coaster. I... As, as fun as the mine train coaster is... Also, are we get, we're getting a water ride. Cool, cool. Alright, you know what? I'll enable everything again. 
I wish there was a way to, like, rush out the research topics a little bit faster. Let's build the railroad. I want to build the railroad around the, uh, <laughs> the, the lake. No, the tail of Peter Rabbit's in the way. Oh, perfect! I, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Too high for supports? It's stupid lake. Just building it around the lake. Nice and easy peasy. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So it's got two st two stations. Can you have the roller coaster dump occupants into the water? You can, but that's called murder, and it will make your park rating drop pretty substantially. And then you'll get people complaining constantly that they don't want to ride something because it's not safe. Okay, and then we need the second entrance and exit over on this side. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest concern is the biggest concern is the park rating. I have almost double the amount of guests that I normal that I need to complete the park. We're not going to open it yet because again we still need to expand to the back side of this park, but it'll be ready to open whenever we get there. Okay, we got oh the water tricycles. Cool. I definitely wanted that. Don't don't give me a log flume or river rabbits or a splash boats or anything. No no I can I can take just alternate boats on the boat hire, even though I'm only going to use the swans exclusively. I also want to point out that I can technically take out a loan of up to $50,000 on this course, but I don't like being in debt. <laughs> that is a huge amount of trash, what the heck? Okay, clearly I need to put in more trash cans around this area. Normally it's just vomit that's the problem. So this is, this is like the area where all this trash was appearing, so we'll put in lots and lots of trash cans. The guests have no excuse to not use them. Like so. You know what? I'm gonna expand- I'm gonna just connect everything up. How many tra- oh, there's four trains. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna say there's, uh, no minimum waiting time. <laughs> the suspended swinging coaster! Oh boy, it's a garbage roller coaster! <laughs> We're gonna wait for any load. Alright, people are liking the train thus far. This is great. The suspended swinging coaster. For those of you who don't know, this coaster is a huge pain in the butt to work with. It's big, it has basically no special elements, and it makes guests barf a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's fun. Why do all the people with $90 look like they've never, they haven't slept in 8 hours, in like 28 hours? All right, I, I like the train. I think I did a pretty good job with the train, if I do say so myself. They're making too much money to sleep. <laughs> they work all night, they work all day to pay the bills they have to pay. Ain't it sad? I think I might make like a, a, at least a coaster that takes up a large portion of this area. Just so we can stretch out towards this direction. Hey, oh, my puddle duck is broken down. By the way, come on, are my two mechanics handling things? Oh, yeah, they're fine. Security guards, I find, they just, they aren't worth it. All they can do is kind of, sort of, prevent vandalism, but you can also prevent vandalism just by making sure your paths are clean. So, kind of a waste of money. When they eventually reach the point where they don't want to pay this much for Jeremy Fisher, that's when I'll expand the station. So help me if they give me a, just another set of boats for the boat hire. That's... Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Let's start making a mine train coaster. We've had it for a while, but now we actually can justify using it. 80 feet, here we go. Not enough cash, cool. <laughs> That'll be under, under, man, under management. Mine train coaster, well, I don't think... There are mines in Beatrix Potter, so we'll make this the tale of Squirrel Nutkin. No, Nutkin, not Nutskin. Nutskin is something very different. That's the outer shell of a peanut that you have to crack. Oh, this is perfect! See? People aren't queuing for this anymore, so we'll wait for the queue line to empty. And then we can expand the station. By the way, it has not rained since I got the information kiosks. I'm kind of disappointed about that. No, there are zero people on the ride. Cool. Just, okay. Just gonna make sure that it'll still, with this volume of a train, it's still not going to fall off the track. See, see, that's, that's why I tested it. 
that's why I tested it. Why? Okay, so apparently if you extend... Hmm. That's interesting. Can I buy land to extend this? I can't. Great. That's weird. Okay. This is strange. What if I remove the boosters? Nope. Same same deal. Okay. I guess we'll turn down the launching speed then to like 45 miles an hour. Oh boy, bumper boats. Again, it's just another type of boat. Nope. Nope. When there are if there are too many fat guests in the ride, that's going to go off the edge. And as long as this makes it through with an empty train, cool. All right. So this is technically like a new ride pretty much. Surely people are going to go on it now, right? Or are they waiting for the test results to come back? <laughs> Is this going to be less intense now that I've removed... High, high, and low! That's better than it was before! Oh, man. If it's a higher excitement, then they actually might pay more for it now. If I really wanted to make money, I would literally just save this as a track design. And then spam it all over the place. You know what? I think I will save this track design. The OP loop costs six hundred and sixteen dollars. <laughs> Two bad mice. We're gonna have dueling looping coasters on each side. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect and terrible. These are purely money makers. That's all they are. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that money go up though. <laughs> $20 is not too much for an entrance fee. It's not. Let's do some advertising. Free rides on the Two Bad Mice Track 2. It's at the opposite end of the park. We're advertising for Two Bad Mice Track 1, opposite end of the park. Free fries. There we go. <laughs> there! See? Here are the guests coming. <laughs> And we're going to make back the money that we spent very quickly. Uh-oh, are people not paying that much? No, no. Oh, wait, that's the wrong ride. They were willing to pay that much. They just want to go on something more thrilling. Look, the roller coasters are in the back, people. Badger in my bed is wildly popular. Dane. I've underestimated how good the swinging ships are. We got spinning wild mouse cars. Wait, that's a great coaster type. And it's a spinning wild mouse. It fits the theme of the park, too. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at all that money. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were building a mine train coaster. We should get this up and running as soon as possible, because the mine train coaster is going to make us very big bucks. In fact, I'm actually going to take out a bit more of a loan. Uh, do we have an on ride? We do have an on ride photo section. Okay, I'll save that for later though. On ride photo show section at the bottom of that hill. That's that's what we're gonna do. I love this feature right here that lets you test the ride. I love that. We're up in the chain with speed. Why would you not up the chain with speed? I freaking love the ghost feature. That's so good. Now again, this is again. In order to see if they actually will make it up that high. Man, when you when you when you start making a good coaster, like it feels so good. Oh man. Ran out of the cash. Okay, you're going for that pretty slowly. You'll be going for that faster with guests though. Okay, that That's probably gonna give some lateral G's. Okay. It is complete. We're going to save the game. We are going to save the game as the Lake District. Duh. Okay. I want... Oh, entrance is not built yet. Okay, well, that, that can be easily remedied. Alright, we want to see a test. We have a, a real test. Only two trains. Okay, hang on. Can we get free trains? Okay, yeah. I like this better. Free trains, five cars per train. 
Because this is a bit of a long coaster, in case you couldn't tell. This might be a little on the intense side. We'll have to see where the lateral Gs are. I have a feeling some of those turns might be a little rough. That one should be fine. Then you do go down for the helix. Go up. Then they go down and up. It probably depends on where they're going to be in the train. That will vary. Oh my gosh, I just realized it's raining. Look at all of the umbrellas I'm selling. That part at the end will probably hurt me a little bit. Okay. Well, that could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. And look at that money that skyrocketed because of my uh, umbrella sales. Okay. Yeah, actually, not as bad. Oh, that's great. That's actually, that's great. I'm still going to make an adjustment at the end. This part right here where we like bank, unbank, and then bank again. We're just going to keep banked. There we go. Oh, man, we're going to be able to charge so much for this. At least free dollars. Maybe free 50, even. Man, Squirrel... Squirrel Nutkin is a more intense story than I remember it being. Also, we're going to need a big queue line for this. So, we actually do not want the line to be too long. Otherwise, guests will be complaining about how long they have to wait for it. Up here, everybody, look! Look! <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of this mine train coaster. It took a lot of money. My guests are going down. Okay, well, let's see why. Because it's too crowded here, they've already got a park map. I mean... Uh, GG, who was saying I'm not paying that much to go on this six little rabbit go round, eh? Fine, time to refurbish then. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I moved the mine train? I did not move the mine train coaster. It's always been over here. Oh, yeah. People are paying that much for it. Yeah, Squirrel Nutkin is intense. There's no there's no doubt. There's no doubting that. Alright, let's get the cute little... Squirrel Nutkin's a cute little red squirrel with a white belly. <laughs> the camera's... Uh, yeah, so you can, you can, you can rotate the camera around. Absolutely, you can. See, this is why I said free trains. Because even with free trains, there's going to be a bit of a line. Although it is going to load pretty fast. So you're going to get a huge amount of guests on, like, in a row, then they're going to have to wait for all the trains to complete. Oh, yeah. I'm bring look, look at all the money I have. I can pay off pretty much all of the debt that I borrowed to take this out. This is fantastic. I'm surprised that my gentle rides are doing so... Okay, trip around the Lake District. <laughs> what is that? I'm looking at all the people thinking about the trip around the Lake District, and everyone's just like, Man, this drink from the Drunk Rat Wine is really good value. Well, yeah, I know it is, but... What, are the, what do British trains look like? What color are they? Oh, yuck! What's all the barf doing around here? I was going to say Nintendo actually is slacking again, but actually he was the one person who was doing stuff. Hmm. All right. F handyman number five. What are we going to, what are we going to name him? How, oh, um. John Joyner with a saw. <laughs> and my two mechanics are doing a, a, an awesome job. Cool. I'm going to actually hire an entertainer. You're going to go in this queue line, and you're going to patrol around the queue line. You will be in a tiger costume, but we're going to call you Squirrel Nutkin. <laughs> and that's just how it's going to go. Also, do I have an owl statue somewhere? No, but I have a giraffe statue. Oh, hey! Squirrel-shaped trees! That's adorable. I was going to say, because, like... The whole thing of Squirrel Nutkin is Squirrel Nutkin is like a little prick who keeps mocking this owl who's like letting him and the other squirrels like use his grounds to eat, and then the owl bites his tail off at the end. 
So if I can put, if I can get an owl, or something that resembles an owl over here, I think that would be funny. I got an alligator. <laughs> uh, I got a unicorn. I've got a dolphin. None of those are owls, though. Can I make one out of these? I don't think so. We'll just put a very large tree, maybe. Oh my gosh, we have the mountain tool. That's great. But I think I just need to raise this land up a bit. Uh. Get those wooden supports. So that'll be like the owl's tree. <laughs> What would actually re resemble the owl most closely? Honestly, maybe... The, the, just pretend the alligator is an owl, okay, people? <laughs> That's the best I can do. Wow, everyone loves the ride. And we get... Oh, boy. We get the chairlift. I'm so happy. Man, we... We've gotten some really bad roller coaster types. Oh, when did we get the log flume? Oh, that's great. Okay, this area here is a tiny bit sparse. It could use a spiral slide that absolutely nobody's ever going to ride. Because spiral slide is a really bad ride type. I'm just going to preemptively cut this down to 50 cents. Nobody's going to ride it if it's any higher of a price. All right, we got the spiral slide. But now it's going to be the chimney... To Samuel Whiskers. Because <laughs> he's, like, living in the chimney. They keep buying the on-ride photos. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, I need to make a log flume, and I need to make a spinning wild mouse. For sure. Oh, boy. we're Okay. Stop researching roller coasters and transport rides. And gentle rides. I have enough coaster types that I don't need any more. Oh no, the, not the steeplechase. The steeplechase is such a bad ride type. <laughs> Spinning Wild Mouse, though, is a good one. But the Log Flume is as well. Logger's Revenge, Splash Mine, and... We don't even need a long Log Flume. We just need a passable Log Flume. That's all we need. Let's put it by the lake. Because that makes sense to me. Another thing that I learned, the Log Flume station platform has absolutely no effect on it has no effect whatsoever on how many boats there are. Yeah, so like I said, we don't even need a good log flume. We just need a log flume. There we go. Reverse our turntable. Then we'll replace this at the end with an on-ride photo section. ka -ching! There we go. It's a very simple log flume. The, uh, the spinning wild mouse rides are just a little bit on the barfy side, if, if you get my drift. Okay. We're also going to say there's no minimum waiting time at all. <laughs> if you, Once the log gets put in, we're, we're taken off. Yeah, $2 for the log flume. Upside down roller coasters? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, a little intense for me. Guests are complaining about the disgusting state of my paths. I have so many handymen, though. Oh, I don't have enough bathrooms, though. That might be a problem. Okay. Highlight path issues. Oh, this is great. Okay. Nintendo Addict? Got some barf that need attending to. Alexander, I wish you could tell your handyman to never go into queue line paths. That would be very nice. That barf just appeared out of nowhere. Someone just threw up. Okay. Well, that should at least... That should mitigate a lot of the issues. Uh-oh. Vandalized trash cans? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. We do need more, uh... So this is kind of a nausea-inducing nausea ride right here, so I'm going to put a bathroom right near the exit. And because I'm incredibly juvenile, I'm going to call it Squirrel Buttkin. Because... As I said, I'm incredibly juvenile. And it is wordplay, so... Okay, now we're gonna have... 
penneth of bread, a penneth of milk, and a penneth of sausages. All these references that nobody will get. I love it. I'll have to, like, edit the clips into the YouTube VOD when it gets uploaded. Fast rides make your butt sore. Yeah, you know, you're not wrong. There's definitely a set of intensity that I can handle and a set of intensity that I cannot. Look at this! People, this is a terrible ride. This is a terrible ride, and yet people are going on it like crazy. Also, we haven't named it yet. I'll do the tale of Pigleen Bland. Because that's what this ride is. Pigleen Bland. But people still like it, nonetheless. I don't know why. Alright, we do need the Wild Mouse ride, though. And I think we should build the Wild Mouse ride over the lake. So, uh, how many guests do we have that are still in here? Uh oh, Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny left a long time ago. We need we need replacements. I do like no 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 Nintendo or not Nintendo like Sonic. I agree, water rides are great, but this water ride in particular is not. <laughs> also, some some of these boats are going in going for this backwards, and some are going for it forwards. I just want to point out. We can also build like a wooden coaster back here as well. We're also on year free now, so we gotta we gotta start wrapping up our our <laughs> purchasing power. What do we have next? Oh yes, balloon stall. I've been waiting for that. Where are the log trains? When you say log trains, what are you talking about? Is that like a specific ride type? Oh, log trains for the junior roller coaster. That's right. Forgot about that. All right, wooden wild mouse. Oh man, this is what we should have done for the two bad mice. Maybe, maybe I'll delete the two bad mice tracks, because they're both kind of terrible. But they are attracting a lot of guests, so... so that's a that's a ten-foot drop. We could start out with some hairpin turns. Wow, you can go up high. Interesting. I, I'm just going to run with the overall theme of hairpin turns and see where this goes. Because this is a ride you actually can give some lateral Gs to, and people won't hate it. <laughs> Maybe I should just ghost train test this out. Spinning control toggle? I didn't even realize that was a thing. I don't know what the, if it's a toggle, I'm not sure exactly what that does, but... I have no idea what the intensity of this is going to be, but it's probably going to be... reasonably intense. The, day, the tale of Jeremy Fisher still hasn't been fixed. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Employ more mechanics? Dream on! Dream on! Okay, I do need a new mechanic, then. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Spinning Wild Mouse! A.K.A. just a bunch of hairpin turns. We'll see how this goes. It, it, it might be the most intense thing ever. Uh-oh. Better turn down the prices of these. Alright, let's see. This guy... Uh, this could be really intense, or... Wow! No, that that's not enough to be excessive lateral Gs, I don't think. I think you need to get closer to 3.0 for it to be excessive. Only a max speed of 30 miles per hour, so it really, like, it shouldn't be that bad. High, high, and high! Wow! I mean, that's going to make guests barf a lot, but... I, that That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. There we go. How much money can we charge for this bad boy? Probably at least three dollars. There we go. The wild mouse is open. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, sure enough. They're already piling in. Oh, this is just fantastic. I'm going to preemptively put a set of benches outside the exit. Oh, I can't put them on slopes. That's right. You can put trash cans on slopes. All right. If it's a wild mouse, obviously, like, it could be the tail Mrs. Tittlemouse. Sure, let's say Mrs. Tittlemouse. She has one of the most exciting rides. Alright, so she has like a 
So she, she's a brown mouse, but she's got, like, this adorable little pink and white uh, apron. So there we go. <laughs> oh, I just I just realized I uh this is something I probably should have done, but I didn't do, but that's a, that's okay. I wish I had the I wish I had the giant garden the theming. That would be great. Oh good, we got the balloon stall. We we gotta make sure we distribute balloons of all colors. We got the safest park in the country. You know, nothing has crashed yet, so I take that as a win. Actually I kinda like the default colors here. Gonna make the supports yellow. There's really only one thing that I want to do. Because Mrs. Tittlemouse, in the uh, story, ends up getting bees in her house, and she needs to enlist the help of Mr. Jackson to help her out. There we go. That looks kind of like a honeycomb a little bit, I guess. Oh my gosh! Look at all this. Look at this crowd. Everybody loves it! Yes! This is beautiful. Okay. Balloon stalls. We need to start putting these all over the place. Same price sold throughout the park, yes. I'm not even going to bother naming them. I just want to have them all over the park, and I need them in different colors. Definitely put one near here. If you put balloon stalls over the park, people will buy them, and then they'll let them go when you complete the scenario as they applaud you. It's always a fun time. They'll let them go when you complete the scenario as- Of course, just the thing. Yellow taffeta. Do 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 do. <laughs> we know you want to buy these. Okay, that actually might be it. No, there, we can put in one more. We'll make this color... Orange. There we go. Now we're going to start seeing guests around here with carrying balloons. Ooh. And we can keep repaying our debt. Johnny Town Mouse has left Badger in my bed. <laughs> you just left the Badger in my bed? How dare you? Did we get the water slide? We did get the water slide. Yes. Okay. That's going to be hard to fit that on the lake, though. Timothy William, you're still here, and you got a balloon. Oh, he's got the green balloon, too. That's so fitting. Because in uh, in the story... Oh, what's his favorite ride? His favorite ride is the Tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse. Well, I guess that's fitting. <laughs> I never made the car. The car ride is kind of a lot of work for very little payoff. It's, ve it's a very boring attraction. But the water slide. This is something I can get behind. Okay, if I say see through rides... Okay, all of the stalls are in the way, which is a little unfortunate. Alright, let's, let's do something like this. Now, the thing about the water slide... Is if they take... A, if they go down, then go up, and then reach the top of a hill, going at too high of a speed... Then it can easily crash. Luckily, there's an easy way to mitigate this. And it's called make it the top make the top of your hills encased in tube. I wish there was an odd ride photo section you could put on the water slide. But no, you just have the S pens. Uh oh. <laughs> they actually can't make it up this hill. They really wow man, they lose a lot of speed on the uphill sections. Man, they lose a lot of speed on the uphill sections. <laughs> Just in case, we're gonna encase that. And we're gonna encase this in the pipe. Because I really don't want any guests to um, die on this ride. Now we'll do a little trick here. Cool, cool. I like this. Cool, alright. Let's test this bad boy out. Obviously, we're going to save first. 
Ex and that's right. I always forget to put the entrance and exit in. There we go. All right. Now we test it out. This is not the most exciting Dini slide in the world, but uh, it should be solid. Yeah, I've I've been to both Disneyland and Disney World. I only went to Disneyland once though, and only for like half a day, so I didn't get to do all of the stuff. I did get to do the Alice in Wonderland ride though, which which was very fun. They don't have that in Disney World. Now continue on. Slide on through. Oh, that, that looks just gorgeous. Oh, that looks so nice. And we still have plenty of room over here for a wooden coaster. Medium, high, and medium? That's a lot of positive vertical Gs, I guess. Well... It's just how life be sometimes. Okay, so this part might take some finagling. We're actually going to tunnel underground. I need ride... The disgusting state of my paths. We'll deal with that later. There we go. Took some doing, but we got there. We got an entrance into the water slide. <laughs> Took long enough, though. Oh, I know. Tale of Pig Robinson. <laughs> what a color scheme. Oh boy, we got canoes that we'll never use. Wow! Oh, I don't think you can take balloons on a on a water slide. Oh wow! No. Okay, Squirrel Nut can there finally putting their foot down there. Okay, 350. That's too much. What other thoughts? Okay, number one thought is this path is disgusting. Perhaps I need another handyman. Yeah, this path really is dis oh My gosh! Yeah, I don't blame my guests for b being disgusted with this. Alright, uh... <laughs> Wesley! <laughs> Pick up the barf. Who keeps vandalizing all these trash cans? Good, okay. You know what? It's it's because of the wild mouse coaster. The wild mouse coaster is causing all of this vomit. <laughs> Where's Alexander? Alexander! Get over here. Alexander, you're just going to patrol around this wild mouse area, all right? There we go. All it takes is a little bit of time, and there we go. Our, pa our park rating is so much higher up now. All right, now what are gets thinking of? I've already got a park map, is the number one thought. Cool, I've already got a balloon. But people are not thinking, I don't, I'm not paying that much to go on this ride. Okay, that's good. Are my mechanics being able to keep up? Alright, I'll hire another one. Also, wow, with all that money, we are debt free! We're getting a water ride. Oh, we should turn on all of these again. Where's my cat? Oh, cotton candy stall! That's terrifying. We'll plop it down right here. <laughs> and name it Rabbit Tobacco. <laughs> Rabbit Tobacco. AKA Lavender. Drink stall. And this can be Ginger and Pickles General Store. Oh, Lord. Look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, the looping coaster right there, it's a little broken. I wonder if we could get 2,000 guests. 
I think we can. All right, wooden coaster. This is going to take up basically the rest of this area over here, so... Okay, also I want to try something out. I've been told. It does work! You can break up chain lifts with turns. That's... That's really nice to know, actually. How did I go my entire roller coaster tycoon career without knowing you could do that? That's so good! Also, I love the design of the wooden coaster. I freaking love... This ghost test ride. This is what is... This is what I like doing in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Building large coasters. Okay, you're going fast enough that you could probably make it up here. Okay, you know, you know what? If we do a big turn... We can get it closer up here... Okay, I, yeah, this is good. I spin to the right, then we can just dip over here, go down, and finish. Now we just gotta see about the lateral G's, but otherwise I think this should be a pretty solid coaster. So how many trains? We got two trains. Okay, we do need the trains to be long, though, to get up that chain lift, so... Save. We will open. No, we will test. Wooden coasters might be my favorite coasters to design. And man, that chain lift. Ugh. That chain lift trick that you can break them up. Oh my gosh. That makes things so much better. And again, I've been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon for 20 years. I never knew you could do that. I thought it had to be all one continuous chain lift. Alright, and we gotta... The theme park is almost done. Just, like, two more in-game months. We got a big one over here, so I got a, I got a plan for this. This is going to be... The Tale of Mr. Todd. Now, please don't be too intense. Oh, doggone it. It has to go through again because I increased the chain lift speed. Alright, well... While you, you can do that, I'm going to keep... I'm going to build the pathway. Not yet available. Okay, cool, cool. The lateral Gs are not that high. Okay, those are really good stats. This is going to be a free 50 kind of ride. Mr. Todd. <laughs> I've been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon since 2002. Roughly. I played the first one basically right when it came... Well, I can't remember when the first game came out. I was definitely playing it in like the early 2000s, though. Alright. Mr. Todd, he... Mr. Todd's got that interesting, like, faded green pantsuit, which is kind of that color. But then he himself is this bright, uh, orangish-red fox with a bit of bright... Oh, that's a disgusting color scheme. That is a disgusting color scheme. Okay, maybe we can make... That's still not good. Oof. No, that's fine, I guess. Ooh, oh, different colors per train. Train one is going to be Mr. Todd. Train two is going to be Tommy Brock. That's how, that's what we're going to do. And train two. Black and white. Oh, yes, I like this a lot. All right, got to attend to the guest's needs. I feel sick and this path is disgusting. Okay, the path is definitely disgusting over there. Oh, yuck! Okay, John Joyner, we need you to uh, patrol this area.
Mr. McGregor, stop hanging out in the queue lines where there can't be bar for trash. Alexander's doing a, a doggone good job of keeping the path clean over by the Wild Mouse ride, though. Which is great. See, I found the honey, Mrs. Tittlemouse. Oh, I got a River Rapids. Oh, I got a Wooden Wild Mouse, too. Oh. Okay, well, I'd rather build a Wooden Wild Mouse ride than a River Rapids, because this fits the theme of the park a little better. All right. Where can we put this, though? Got to put it over here. There we go. Okay. Station platform is built. Now we can keep... Okay, we can go... We can tunnel under the log flume. I think this is going to be very similar to the other Wild Mouse ride we have, but... This one's great because you can actually do a really steep sloped chain lift. And you can do steep drops. <laughs> you spilled into the honey! How dare you! Mr. McGregor is cleaning up the vomit and the trash. That's why he hates Peter Rabbit so much. He's like, stupid rabbits throw up everywhere. I normally don't make two chain lifts, but... Give him the circumstances. I've got money. i got a lot of money, so... There we go! We are all connected. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Save the park. Test it out. <laughs> I like the I like the wild mouse coasters. They're great. All right. Now, this will be the tale of Samuel Whiskers. Oh boy, a monorail! I'm so glad we got the monorail in time <laughs> to never ever use it. Actually, we're going to do Grey Castle because uh, he, he's in the chimney. Alright, Samuel Whiskers, he is a brown rat, but he wears, again, that kind of green overcoat. And a nose for cheese. Grey and black for the sooty uh, chimney. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. That does connect the exit, does it? No, it doesn't. High, very high, medium. I'm getting some pretty intense roller coasters, but they bring much joy to the children. <laughs> All right, Samuel Whiskers. Three dollars for admission, and let's open it up. Dun, 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 dun. Don't no minimum weight. <laughs> turn up the chain lift as well. Why would you not turn up the chain lift? I, I like... <laughs> Man, we really took up the lake. If we zoom out, we took up pretty much the entire park. Oh, look! It's raining, so they're gonna buy umbrellas! <laughs> oh, that's so fantastic. Let's see if we can finish this with 999 park rating. <laughs> Marge versus the monorail. That does sound like a Simpsons episode title. 30 cents for the railroad. Oh, now they're not going on Badger in my bed. It's about time. Well, also because it might be because it's raining. Look at that. Like, I've, I'm now at $10,000. I just built a roller coaster and I'm at $10,000 now because of the rain. And the umbrellas! <laughs> I'm very happy with how this park has turned out. This is, this is fantastic. It's just wonderful. Alright, what are guests thinking? It's too crowded here. The path is disgusting. I'm running out of cash. Not going on any of these things while it's raining. Okay, path is disgusting. Let's cut away. Who are you, Mr. McGregor? You just left some trash behind. Okay, Alexander, you're the one who had to patrol the area. Nintendo Addict, you gotta take out the trash. Mr. McGregor, go over there. Nintendo Addict, sweep up the barf. Oh, yuck. Okay. Might as well hire a bunch of new handymen. Oh my gosh! What is all of this? 
Why are they barfing near the entrance? There's nothing near the entrance that makes people barf. <laughs> it's like, did you barf from the merry-go-round? Guests are complaining about the disgusting state of my park. I'm working on it. No, not in the queue line. Someone immediately just barfed in the trash can. Take out the trash. What the heck? The barf just keeps appearing. Peter Rabbit left the park, but but he was my friend. <laughs> okay, that that'll that'll help the park rating a lot. Okay, there's something very very important we must do now. Balloons are ten cents. I want everybody to have a balloon in their hand. We're even going to introduce a new color of balloon. We're going to introduce white balloons. Peter Rabbit got sick and left. Who barfed near the entrance? People who don't want other guests coming in. Yay, we got 999 park rating. What's our park value? Ooh, that's a good park value. All right, we're about to win the scenario. Oh, did he just leave the park? I see. Woo! Now everybody lets their balloons go at the same time. And they sit and applaud us. Oh yeah! We destroyed that, and we just got bumper cars in time. Oh yeah. We beat the Lake District in Leafy Lake. I mean, that was really easy. We almost had triple the amount of guests that we needed. That's fantastic. Gotta enter our name into the scenario chart. Okay. <laughs> should this be completed by? <laughs> could be. We could just go Beatrix Potter. That would be a good one. We could something Beatrix Potter related. Uh. Who else had, did we not? Hmm. Oh, I know. Completed by the foxy gentleman. <laughs> Madam, have you lost your way? Oh, that's perfect. Rabbit coaster. Well, that was that was fantastic. What a what a fun, what a fun scenario. I do love Leafy Lake. All right, so that's another scenario completed. Now, Force for Tears, Diamond Dudes, and Leafy Lake have all been completed. Next up will be Diamond Heights, but I will not be streaming this again. This is one of those things that I stream on and off, but not. It's not like a consistent stream series. So next weekend we will start a brand new weekend stream series. Actually, no, no we. Okay, hang on. Next weekend, I'll be busy at least one of the days. So it may not actually start next weekend after all, but if it does, it'll probably be on a Sunday. I'll have to, I'll, I'll keep people posted on that. Hollow Knight will continue on Monday and Wednesday of this coming week. That's always a fun time. Hopefully we can finish that up pretty soon as well. What the heck was that? That wooden coaster was like a, a cog wheel. That was a lot of fun, though. Thank you all for joining in. It's, it's fun to go back to Roller Coaster Tycoon every now and then. It's it's a hot... If I go in with, like, an idea of, like, I'm going to make a park with this theming, then I generally really enjoy it. <laughs> Oof, that, that's a cool coaster as well. So, I will bid you all adieu. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless. See you later, everybody.